Hello and welcome to this week's Granny's Garden. Today is going to be about installation of a drip system. Now, those of you who've been following me over the last few weeks will see that I'm back at my raised beds and a few weeks ago I assembled this second bed to be able to plant my spinach which I had in the seedling tray. Now this spring has been particularly cool and wet so I haven't really had a need for having an irrigation system installed. Uh, when it hasn't been raining I've just got the watering can and have watered it. But according to the weather forecast, the Spanish summer, sunny Spain, is going to set in within the next week. Now during a Spanish summer, we're going to get temperatures in the mid to high 90s for about the uh, mid-June, July, August and most of September. So I'm going to need some sort of irrigation system uh, installed here. Now normally I would use the normal quarter inch uh, irrigation system, just putting the little emitters as needed. But I wanted to try out this new system that's been highly recommended, which is a quarter inch drip line soaker tube with uh, pre-installed emitters every six inches. So I'm just going to take you around to the table now and we'll just have a look at it. Now this is the normal quarter inch tube that I would normally use in like a vegetable garden or in a, a garden container that it's, it's completely solid and I would just uh, pinch in emitters ever, and ever so often at the distance I would want myself. And this is what has arrived now. You can see the sort of like swellings on the tube with a little hole every six inches. And I've been told it's absolutely excellent for things like uh, raised beds and for, uh, for containers. So I think I'm going to be changing all of my containers this year and give this a go. Now if you come with me over here, there is a pre-installed drip system here. So, what I'm going to do is tap down into this, I'll remove this which is not being used, I'll tap into this, get a solid tube over to the actual bed itself, and then once I'm in the actual bed, I'll start using the new soaker tube, and wind it in and out of the rows, jump onto the next bed, and wind it in and out of the second bed as well. So, let's get started. Now, I've brought along in a plastic bottle, just a few things just in case that I might be needing. The first is just an ordinary joint, the second is a goof stop for the end of line, and I have also a little elbow or a, a 90 degree angle, which I probably will be putting around about here so that the tube lies flat and is not sort of like bending into a loop overneath the bed. Right, now the first thing we need to do is remove the top part of the pre-existing tube because there is already actually a joint here which we can take advantage of. So as you can see, all I need to do now is take a length, which I've just measured, of the solid tube and push it on. Perfect. And now for part two. Now if you see here, I've installed one of these. Now these most people have at home, they're just for used for holding cables or wires against a uh, skirting of, uh, of the wall. So, the tube, which if you remember, is connected now. I'm just going to thread it through as if it was threading a needle. There we go. This is just to stop it moving around. I've got a little bit of leeway. That's perfect. And now I'm just going to give it a clip off here 
and we'll join into the new soaker tube. Okay, so we've got a little elbow joint here at 90 degrees. I'm just going to insert that now into the solid tube. The other side. And it's lying nice and flat. So now I just need some of these. It'd probably be better with landscape staples, but I have them on order, but unfortunately they haven't arrived yet, so for the meantime, this will do grand. So I just tape it down now here between the rows. Here I'm going to uh, join it onto a solid uh, tube. I'm going to put these two tables together and I'm going to jump it onto the next one and just do the same thing, wind it round and we'll test it when it's finished. Okay, now I've pushed the two beds together. If you see here, I've just made a little bridge with some solid tube to jump between one bed and the other another section of the soaker tube and at the very end here I just put a loop stop at the end of the line. Now I'm just going to show you probably on this one because I've just raised it a bit so you can see it. Look at this soaker tube working. If you can come in you can see that it's dripping very nicely indeed. You can see here as well. So I think these are going to get a good soaking every morning and then later on in the, the season when it starts uh, getting to like uh, 98, 100 degrees we will put on a, a drip in the afternoon as well. So I think this new drip system is going to work out quite well. It was highly recommended and I think it's, uh, well, we'll see at the end of the season how things grow but I'm certainly impressed for the moment. So for the moment it's bye from me. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe and until next week. Bye-bye.